This is the Afro Perspective Podcast, the home of over-opinionated young voices. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth episode of the Afro Perspective Podcast. My name is Tinashe, and I'm joined alongside my co-host Anton, alongside Zoya, and today we have a special guest, Aziza. Um, <laughs> hot topics, man. Okay. Uh, before we go to the hot topics, man, mm-hmm. we have to big up our sponsor. Wow. Yeah, big up the big up sponsor. Yes. Then. Yes. 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 Uh, shout out to our sponsors, uh, Natural Nubian Dolls. Um, you can catch them at www.naturalnubiandolls.com um, for all your merchandise, you know, your black dolls and them thing there. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Natural so shout out to natural nubian dolls uh for all your merchandise your black merchandise your you know rock sacks and them kind of things your black dolls also t-shirts, t-shirts, t-shirts as well. yeah uh, so visit them at www.naturalnubiandolls.com shout out to joy and the team <laughs> uh so today <laughs> Mr. Oh, Frederick, gosh. all right. Would you like to spill the tea? The tea has been spilled a long time. <laughs> long time the tea gets spilled. <laughs> all right, to cool. Hot topic this week is in relation in relation to race relations is Meghan and hmm. Harry and the interview they did. Um, sister Oprah, which is with sister Oprah, <laughs> right? But we've got to be careful how we deal with this because there are so many layers to unpack. Mm. So. Brief synopsis is obviously Meghan and Harry got married in 2018, Tina, in May. Yeah. Um, previous to that, Meghan was a star on a show called Suits. Yes. Yeah. I used to watch regularly. That's yeah. that quickly quickly got cancelled. <laughs> yeah, I was I was big on the Suits. That quickly got cancelled. Well, her role quickly got cancelled was as she met Harry because. He's a oh, prince. You can't, yeah, you can't yeah, really come yeah, having, yeah. having sex scenes with <laughs> and these times there you're engaging true, with the prince. That can't really work. I get that part. Um, so in mm. but they got married in 2018, but by 2019, which is like literally a year on, they had already left the UK. Putting things into motion. For two fa- mm-hmm. in, in 2019, they had already left to go to Canada, I believe, for settling in America, um, which was labeled Megxit, which we will get into. Um, and in, in 2021, <laughs> literally the other day, so Monday, according to UK Times, there was an interview with Oprah that was released nine o'clock, which uh, had an awful lot of tea spilled. So it was released at... Um, it was one of the biggest... 1 a.m. Okay, yeah. So yeah, for... Yeah. For, uh, for, 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 yeah. <laughs> for, for the guys that are trapping off the bandwidth, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They, they call it the CBS version, which, yep. by the way, is my first point. I don't know if you noticed that the CBS version was a little bit different, different. from the ITV version. Yes, yes, oh, yes, I didn't watch the ITV I version. I want to see. Bro. Oh, <laughs> version. I didn't watch the ITV version. I need version. to there were things that, yes. There were things shorter. that was, it was shorter. Was it? And there was less. There was things said about the Queen that were not included in the IT version oh, that were in the yeah. CBS version. How did you version. find out? Because the reason why I found that out was I watched, I watched the ITV version. Yes. And then I had to go back because I was getting clips off that you didn't see Twitter. Yes, oh, that yeah, yeah. didn't exist in the ITV I version. Need to see oh. this. I need to see yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. We got, we got to take our time today, so bear with us because bear there's so us. much to uncover. <laughs> All right, so let me just give you this this, this subheading. So we've got to cover. Uh, I've seen on social media the question of whether Megan was acting because she's an actor. She's a good one. Or an I was going to ask you. Okay, how good was we're she gonna seems. get we're gonna get into mm. that, right? Um, the mental health conversation because mm-hmm. off the back of that we have to discuss when somebody cries out for mental health do we take them seriously or do we give them the mega treatment because you know what I mean right, right. so we have to cover um, well we don't have to cover but we can talk about the feud with the other duchess yeah Kate okay. okay. right. yeah and how or, or from an Afro perspective podcast side the difference in the media and how they yeah, were treated they portray, yeah. which is which is blatantly obvious as far yeah. as I'm concerned yeah, yeah. okay um how she felt silenced, mm-hmm. both the dads and daddy issues. Daddy so you got, <laughs> um, and then obviously the financial situation from mm-hmm. Prince Harry and Meghan, um, the titles, no, because what the son would or would not be, 
and uh, is Harry a jacket picnic? Is Harry a jacket? <laughs> I mean, I'll get into that. Well, I'll get into that. <laughs> more I've more. got my theory. So, <laughs> do you want to do, do you want to start with? The, can we start with the social media? Like social media. Can we start with social media and how people generally? So, the, so the it was released on consensus. Monday for the UK. So we can talk about the UK perspective. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, how did you guys feel about the 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 UK? social media experience of Megan and Harry? Like, what kind of things did you see? What kind of, you know, what kind of questions were raised? Did anything you see, like, raise any eyebrows? But nothing raised eyebrows for me. I just think that the UK, they acted oblivious to, to, to what was going on. And they, 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 they act as though everything's a shock. And we all know that the Afro Perspective podcast know that <laughs> None of this is a surprise, but it seems as though from my feeds and from my Facebook feeds and what people are saying that <gasps> I can't believe that happened. From what people I know have said to me personally, they've said that they don't believe it. They, so, think, they think that one of the general consensus that they've been saying is that, which pisses me off. No, no, no way to lie. It pisses me off. They say Megan seems as though she wears the trousers in that relationship. Okay, that's a good point. I think that's so, telling to the kind of people that you go on your social media. But why is that Just negative? my social media? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Literally. Go on, then. Go, go, go. Why do you say that? I don't have them kind of... <laughs> okay, what is he saying, Aziza? I say, like, why, why is that a negative thing? Because what, that she wears the trousers? Yeah. yeah. So why, why is always, that then? It's that always narrative. It's, it's so always narrative. Yeah, they, they will push that narrative, but let's be realistic and not make out that, like... Behind every great man is a great woman. Do you know mm. what I mean? Okay. For that, for that uh, okay. to be something that's realistic, yeah, you've got to understand for that, that to have a negative spin is, on it, I think it's No, like, it's not a negative spin. It's just people um, literally conveniently turning a blind eye to quote-unquote misogyny. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Facts. Because In this whole, instance. Com- that whole narrative fits into misogyny. Yes. I.e. a man's supposed to wear the pants of yes. the house because... Mm-hmm. He's a man. Yeah, he's That's a man. Which, yeah. is, which is very so contrary to, yeah. Right. You know I mean? but, but again, people shift the goalposts where it suits them. Where, yes. Okay, so so let's 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 get into that a little okay. bit. So they there is a there, there is a stance on social media, and I've, I'm not making this up because mm-hmm. I have a wide span of social mm-hmm. media. I don't delete people when they say racist stuff. I like to leave them on so they can remind me. You like screenshots? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 like, I like the reminders. I like the reminders. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I saw that uh, they've almost painted Harry as the lost little lamb. Yes, and therefore Meghan has as this a strong black woman has she's railroaded this guy, mm-hmm. and therefore taken him away and pulled him away from his family which is disgusting that's, which to me and that's not the case well no in, that's from, from what I my, think my personal memory yes. my personal memory of him has been that he's always been the outspoken kind of black sheep of the family okay. anyway yes. okay then black sheep <laughs> of the family <laughs> so like you know funny enough I'm not shocked funny enough he's very reminiscent of his mum yeah like the same yeah, people yeah, that would yeah. be saying he yeah um, you know, Megan wears the pants of the same people that would have said Diana's a strong woman. Yes. It's just that contradict this in this case. It doesn't work out for that way. Megan's in Diana's be. shoes, but yeah. Megan can't be Diana. No, no she's not. Megan's and, and have you seen those? Have you seen those um comparisons? Yes. So she's uh Megan has been compared to Diana. Mm-hmm. Oh, Megan could never be Diana. This is what a real princess looks like. Yeah, but you killed her. And then you've got <laughs> and then you've got <laughs> You got Megan comparison to Kate. She's um, a real princess. Kate is a real princess. This is not how a real princess acts. Which brings us back into our mental health issues. So right. if mm-hmm. you no, 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 let's let go on. Let's stop with Kate. Go <laughs> 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 well, on What are you saying about Kate, Kate? There was a story that was published. Um this is um obviously at the uh, lead up to Harry and um Megan's wedding, where apparently Megan made cry. Is this um, the one you cry? Okay, yes. But that- so it turned out that it was actually the opposite. Yeah, yeah. So who spun that story? Who who the made the woman it- that actually published the story was on um, this morning? Oh, was she? Yeah, I didn't catch that. Uh, right, yeah. tell us, tell us. And yeah, what did you she do? basically tried to deflect when Holly and uh, Phil <laughs> kind of put it on her toes to say, "But yo, what um, are you saying? Mm? You know." This is what they're saying. She was saying, yeah. Oh, but, what? <laughs> it, yeah, she basically just wrote some 
nonsense story, which when it comes to these royal correspondents or whatsoever, whatsoever, I don't know if you saw Go the thing back on Instagram to when they... where this guy literally tricked these uh, royal, I saw that. Yes. royal yeah. correspondents oh, to make, to actually commenting on, on the, the video that they've not, not seen. Yet. That hadn't even been released. <laughs> no. And they were literally so they trashing go, Megan like, yeah. oh yeah, she was this, How, that, yeah. that. This long before Oprah even dropped the video. These are the same guys that tricked Kate Hopkins, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. They, they, they okay. tricked so them to, to literally okay. crash her. Why do you think so they, they did that? Because it's, it's, it's the wider to draw them out. No, why? Why to? Is it because they want they're protective of the royal family? If, is it because that trusted. she's got some melanin in her skin? What do you think the reason is for them to literally go against? Well, for them to well, feel we, so strongly we, about we, an interview they have not actually seen. If, if they're trusted, um, they that no, me. that that leads into the whole issue of which they addressed it. Mm. I, um, the royal family and the British press have a symbiotic a relationship, relationship. Mm-hmm. but it's more like the press have kind of gotten by the balls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they danced to the press's tune, yep. and if the press really wanted to, they they can break Rome them. down mm. because the royal. Um, family and the whole monarchy to a great extent um, it's led by perception the mm-hmm. perception that yes. the royal family is this whatsoever whatsoever Perfect. which yeah which has been pushed up over years and years and years if that was to be challenged in any kind of way or if any disrepute was to brought to be brought to them then it can kind of make the general public kind of question them just like how the Christian church has yes. diminished um, in yeah, terms exactly. of you know, it's following that it, that could happen. And let's not forget that the royal family is funded by the public. So they are yeah. technically they're basically, the yes. Yes. They yes. Us. They are yeah. <laughs> And basically it's it's how it's panned out recently with so the interview happened and conveniently they had this press conference at the um vaccine centre today. Was it today? Oh, yeah. They had so that, that so it's like vaccine center. Well, Prince Charles, Charles, Prince Charles ain't been out for I don't know how long. <laughs> so <laughs> my, 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 so wow. therefore, it's no, like let's go for a vaccine today. Let's just get oh, this. No, he wasn't. No, 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 you're not listening. Yeah. So, the, yeah. So, t- t- no, tell Listen. her, tell her, because I can't. No, I, I've just seen the video. I've, so seen, I've seen the video of, 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 of the prince walking in to, to the vaccine center. AC my man for don't know how. I haven't seen him for He's ages. Wait on, first of all. Which is cool. I like, was but, ill. Hold on. He walks in and everybody else is black. Yep, so it's and it's optic. almost to say like yeah. I'm not racist. Yeah, yes, yeah. so it's I can be surrounded by these people. Yeah. What are they talking about? And so basically, trying to challenge what Meghan was saying in the interview. But I then think... Harry did say, but that they are held at the balls by the press. So it's like it's stupid. Yeah, it's contradictory. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, I think um, the whole Kate versus right. uh, Meghan thing. It's a lot of times the black girl or the darker girl uh, ends up looking like the aggressor. Facts, but the press and, and I, it's I, easy to paint her as the uh-huh. aggressor, bro. Did, did so you see? Easy. Did you see the press though? The, the press, yeah, the press really did do a day, yeah. And it's and, and this is why I struggle with the fragility of certain people mm. in these circumstances because as much as everything, a lot of things are subjective. Mm-hmm. Well, when you say fragility of certain people, can you break that down? Mm. Yeah, I so mean I've, white fragility. <laughs> <laughs> Because his name's Tanache. <laughs> right. I'm, so we sugarcoating our No, I'm talking. not sugarcoating at all, but I don't I don't want to address yeah, yeah, yeah. a whole reason. Yeah, you got yeah. No, so you carry on. Peers, for example. Yeah, but I'm not peers. That's right, what we're Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not peers. So I'm not necessarily gonna address a whole race of people over one thing. Because some people are with Megan. Rem- remember yes. that. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So but if agility of certain people, yeah, usually Caucasian, yeah, certain people. <laughs> Uh, of um, when when you talk about the Meghan and Harry scenario, or sorry, Meghan and Kate, mm-hmm. and they will say, "Oh, Meghan could never be anything like Kate." And then you'll look on the you'll look on the, the the newspaper articles, and you'll see that in every circumstance, with Meghan's acted and, and Kate acted Which in the same way, exactly the same way, identical. The, the press has been completely opposite. This is something that I wanted to bring up okay, because, well, for example, <laughs> this is one I saw this article today. And Kate Middleton's homegrown bouquet of Lily of the Valley follows royal code. Fine. Exactly Whereas okay. the same bouquet is killing Princess Charlotte. 
<laughs> it's got her got, life at risk. Allergies. Okay. Her life is at risk. Yeah, but that's and and it's simple things like that to an avocado that stopped Kate's oh, yeah, sickness yeah, yeah. Yeah, to that's... millennial shame the holding the for Megan. The holding the belly bump. Oh, she's cradling it. Is it acting? Does she really love the child? What do you mean? Okay, let's talk about the acting. In the yeah, interview, do you know the most frustrating thing about even talking about this whole topic? Is there's so much. It's like... Okay, yeah, we can't, much, we yeah, can't, we can't even write okay, it down. Let's, okay, let's talk about it. Do me... Okay, let's hit the hard point. Okay. Do you think Megan was acting? No. Um, we'll go um, left to right. We'll go... We'll go okay, let's start. Okay. No, okay, no, no, we'll go, sorry, go, go over on this okay. side and we'll go... I've got my... I've got one each. Go on. <laughs> do I think Megan was acting? Yeah. Um... Okay. <laughs> There were parts that I don't know. Be right. honest, come on. Do you know what messed up my um, psyche? Hmm. Kirby messed up my psyke. Excuse me? Kirby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. there were parts of it <laughs> that, really that reminded me of Kirby. Yeah. Like, women the whole are body language. Very smart. It's yeah. Dangerous. So. <laughs> I'm not oblivious to the fact that women can kind of manipulate yeah. that whole, their, their fragility as women to. Change the narrative. To check or to, uh, yeah. Yes, facts. Like so, but I'm, yes. I'm just taking that into consideration, right? Yeah. So that's something that I was kind of, it was at the back of my mind when I was watching it to say, I'm trying to see through. So you think she did it, she, she put a spin on it? I don't necessarily think she put a spin on it, but I'm aware that it's possible. it is possible. Okay. But I can't say that she put a spin on it. All right. Now, the problem with challenging no, I don't her, know. yeah is because of the things that she revealed. Mm-hmm. Racism, mental health, yeah. being trapped. Yeah. yeah. So it was almost <laughs> like Weird. disputing one of these Me Too mm. when You just don't cross that line because now you're going to have the whole of the Me Too movement come at you and say, yo, this woman is talking about she's been abused. All Why are you people, saying she's lying? All feminists, all Me Too people, all literally. Yeah, so it's a rocky yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, cool. Let's let's move. Come on, Charlie. Give us a. Um, when I first saw the interview, when it just started, and I sat down ten minutes in, I got the vibes that um, I think I think Megan, she knows that people knows she's an actress. Mm-hmm. So while she was sitting down having the interview, I got my vibes from her was. How can I come across more natural? Which made her in turn look like she was you acting know, fair, you know. more than she was. That's actually fair. So I, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so she's still acting. So so so, 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 yeah. so regardless of how she came across, yeah. people know she's an actress. Yeah. So yeah. therefore, so it, it, yeah. it, it, can't it, she can't, can't win. win. It's, it's, yeah. it's a lose lose situation. Right, cool. What pissed me off was. <laughs> how her hair was laid. So I said this in a group chat and I said, she's got earphones in her ears. We all know this. Both ears were covered because... It might be MI, it might be MI6 if you up. say this, we're going to shut up your head. What do you so, mean? So my vibes was that um, she was trying to look like she wasn't acting, but, but it came across like she was acting. Because she was but, trying to look like she wasn't yes, acting. Yes. So, okay. But what the information she was given was like, no, nah, that's the exact same information Diana was given. Are we saying Diana was acting? She's not an actress. So to be was fair, she an act? That, you've, it's you've the exact point same friggin' points that. Diana was saying. So let's get into it. We'll get into her, it. Her story is real, but the way it came across may, have seen a may seem false. But the more she got into the interview, the more comfortable she got. And when Harry came onto the set, okay. the more comfortable she got. I so therefore, well. so it was like, okay. Cool. In the beginning, she was trying to look like she was acting, but she came across like she was acting. But cool. That's my, that's my. Point. Have you seen it? Yes. Yeah, I've seen it. Yes. Okay. So, okay. did you think she was acting? And I feel like same way that I would sit down here and speak to you guys. I'd be like, okay, no. I've got to put on my pro- my properness. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I've got to sit down and put on my properness. And I know, even just from, I'm not an actress. But I know what it's like to put on a show face, game mm-hmm. face. I know what that's like. Whether you feel like it or not, I know what that's like. So from that perspective, I can see where game face was and where game face ended. Mm-hmm. In terms of when she started speaking more personally about her experience of struggling okay. mentally. And then when her husband come, <laughs> I'm like, that's her man. That's your man. I can tell it's your man. Do you know what I mean? And that made me smile because I'm like... You can't fake love. 
Mm. You can't fake that. But can we also take into consideration that even though even the American one was two hours long, that was cut down from three hours fifty. Really? Three hours forty five. Yeah, see. Right. Right. And we got one hour fifty. And we got less. With us. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no, that's how you know that that's that's how you know that the British one was see? really, really edited because Water. we got two hours, one hour fifty, and it was with advertisements. There was about six advertisements in, in the middle. We got so really we got about hour, we got an hour yeah. twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Do I think she was acting? Um <laughs> Mm, the the major subjects no do I think that she may have put a little sauce on it Possibly. I would like, <laughs> yeah, like, 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 like why, why would you not sprinkle a little cheese on top of the, on top of your spaghetti bolognese like it's it's one of the ones where like I don't think it ma- to me personally it didn't matter that she was if she was acting or not because the stuff that she said as you rightly said has been said by Dan in the past and I don't know if anyone knows but there's also Princess Fergie. And Princess Fergie has done three interviews with Oprah. Well, two interviews with Oprah and another interview. And she has literally said the same things that she was saying. Bar bar the racism, Mm -hmm. everything else sounds exactly the same anyway. Mm -hmm. So when you start having several different accounts from several different princesses that kind of match up, (laughs) then I don't think it matters whether you like Meghan or not. Because there's a lot, oh, well, Meghan, Meghan, I don't like Meghan anyway. So none of that matters. What matters to me is the subject matter. Mm -hmm. At hand. Okay. Sound like you're about to... You're <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Go on, go on. Let's talk about the racism. <laughs> Let's talk okay. about the racism. Oh, Lord. So, um, this is in the lines of um, basically Kate... Um, what's her name? Me- uh, Megan and Harry basically stated that... Um, there was there concerns. Were conversations and con- there were concerns over this. Concerns and conversations. Yeah, concerns. Okay, concerns and conversations over the. Over but concerns the is the, the more important point. <laughs> you, yeah. 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 Com- okay, let's talk about that. Is it is it racist to have a conversation? Yes. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, is it is it? Ra- we, we, uh, Anton, go on. A conversation. Anton. My family yeah. ain't gonna have that conversation about my child. Are you mad? <laughs> no. no. So people don't have conversations about colorism all the time. Yes. Okay. Let's say because you said your family wouldn't have a conversation about the color of your child. If they did, they would. let's say let's say let's I do it. Go let's say I dated a then again a white that. guy, yeah. right? <laughs> I can guarantee you hundred percent. My family will say, I want to know how how dark the child come. I, I, I wonder if he could come up more black or more white. But that's not a concern over. It's a conversation. No, that's what I said. That's why I'm saying. I'm changing the difference between conversation <laughs> okay. versus concern. Okay, okay. okay. So let's let's get into the said, conversation. Hold on. Concern. Go on. Let's try and flip this, right? So we're trying to look at it let's from Pierre's point of view. All right. We're gonna, <laughs> no, not from Pierre's point okay, of view. Okay, right. <laughs> let's say um, now this is a fictional. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, well, okay. Sure. But let's say. Um, the prince of Wakanda yeah. was to bring a white girl. Okay, so he's brought to, Liz. Yeah. Okay. How would... Do you think there wouldn't be a conversation? There'd be a conversation. Now, the reason being, uh, if you look at Wakanda, <coughs> just like the royal family, mm-hmm. they have a... Every every family has a culture. Yes. Every race has a culture. Mm-hmm. A culture dictates the way that things are done and how people behave. How people behave. Yes. So within the parameters of whatsoever culture, um, there are certain obligations. There are certain expectations, and there are certain requirements. Correct. So, if for example, is one off the fundamental aspects of a culture would be racial um now i don't know all right racial purity Mm -hmm. now the question is purity in that area is big anyway it is big in any culture yeah if you go into the asian community they're very big on racial uh, purity India. Uh, hence why we have honor killings. Yeah. Mm. The way that how many how many times have you heard it? Now, do we agree with honor killings? No, yeah. we don't. Mm-hmm. But it is it is 
it, it's basically from the fabric of their culture, i.e., yeah. why are you bringing a black man to the family? Yes. This is unheard of in our family. Right. What are our aunties, your what uncles, is everyone gonna cousins, say? Yeah. everybody going to say? Because they have a culture, a way of doing things, likewise in the black community. Okay, so was it wrong to have concerns or not? I don't necessarily think... Um, are we going with conversations or concerns? No, nah, at this point, I'm moving Conversations and concerns. I don't think it was necessarily... I don't think it was wrong because, in my opinion, the royal family have the right to preserve pure, their culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And whether it's based on race, whether it's based on how they do things in any aspect, race is just, it just one happens to be one that. aspect of the royal family. So, does that make them let's racist? Let's be honest. William's going to look at his brother and say, Yo, bro, are you what really you ready to, to, are you really ready to dilute? <laughs> <laughs> the gene pool. Yo, that I'm was stunning. Like, Ooh. what? <laughs> nah, real talk though. I'm, I'm, yeah, being, I'm, being, I'm trying to be real. Yeah. Like, 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 no, because remember, family, right? I expect it. William to be That's a royalist. He's a royalist. Yeah. He's been raised according to royal acted. values. If you look back on his life and William the way Harry. that... Harry. Okay. He's always... I'm sorry, but as far as I'm concerned, Harry's always been the one that right, been been a bending a girl over yeah, the dance. But this you know is the I mean? thing. That was meant to be fun. William, on the other hand, it Harry. seems to be more on his dad's side. He seems line. to be more, he's in line. Mm-hmm. So it's he has. Harry seeded the same. So remember. <laughs> <laughs> It's because he's going to be king. Yeah, you got to think about it. He's, yeah. he's, he's in line to be the king, yeah. right? He's, he's the big brother. Mm. Remember, these guys' names are going to go in history just like Prince Edward, just yeah, like right. King Edward, <laughs> Henry, Henry, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Their names are getting... So imagine now... <laughs> imagine Harry Harry's being the guy. Now, I know, I understand some of you purists are going to say, yeah, <laughs> Come for us. Um, there was black in the royal family. Queen whatever. Charlotte. Yeah, Queen yes. Charlotte. I've yes. seen all of that, I've right? Seen, yes. Fair enough. But that's not written in the history books. Nope. <laughs> well, it is, but it not, isn't. Not quite. It's it not, is, yeah. Because they're never going to teach that. Yeah. Yeah. It, no, they didn't teach us. They never teach that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I'm talking about official history because mm-hmm. the, the, this is the thing. The victor always writes the history. Mm. So in the history books, it's going to be Harry brought a Browning into the family. <laughs> and she's That's a, a big deal. Yeah, he's a Browning for real. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is though, isn't it? It's not a quote, no, let's quote, be yeah. realistic, yeah, Jessica. Just, look let's up, say, all right, let's just say in your family, right? All of your nieces, nephews, everything are just black, yeah. right? All of your sisters, your cousins have married black. Everything about your family, it's, it's just pure dark. blackness. And then you decide yes. you're gonna <laughs> You're gonna lighten up the thing. <laughs> right? Do you honestly think that some of your aunties might not look at you and say, Sorry, Jessica? As a sister, I, tell I you would that. I would get a question. There you go then. But <laughs> you'd have but as to why that would be my choice, not as to what the child is gonna be. Yeah, but you're fair, not you're not in power. This is an innocent part. In fairness to mm. Jessica and your comment. Once they are married, that conversation is almost obsolete. That's exactly. one of them conversations that's going to make me question, well, no, where it's are obsolete. the Here's the thing. They should, they need to stop it before Here's the, the thing. On top of this, we're talking <laughs> about the royal family where inheritance is concerned, yeah. where the throne is concerned, where titles are concerned. Titles. So it's, yeah. So it's not, it's, cause this is the thing. This, the royal family is now going to have to face the prospect of having a mixed race prince. <laughs> this is the first. I'm it's, not saying it's, it's a bad happen. thing. This is me as a black man telling you. Well, no, I'm empathizing with how they perceive. Because it, it wasn't in the plan, was it? Yeah, it's yeah. never been in the plan. They didn't, even, to, they didn't even consider it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is why because I thought it was <laughs> when you go to other, if you were to go to, if you were to go to certain parts of Africa, yeah. certain villages, you can't bring a white girl there, and yeah. especially if you're part of, you know, the, the 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 royal family, because Africans have their monarchies and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Likewise, in in the Asian community. Okay, so the question is: Was it right, and was it racist? That's that's what I, I did ask. That. Was it right? Um, Depends on was it right, was it racist, <laughs> and are we surprised? Because A, I'm not surprised. Uh, yes. I'm no. absolutely not surprised. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it right? They have a right to say. But they have the right to, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I absolutely. Because guess what? Voice concerns. I'm not that consumed in the illusion of inclusion. I don't care <laughs> if they like black people or if they don't like black people. 
So what? It was wrong. They're the royal family. They're British. They're, 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 they're... I'm not surprised, but it was wrong because you are now putting additional pressure and stresses on something that cannot be changed. No, Anton. It can't be changed. It's too late. Anton. It's too late. Anton. It's too late. Don't think <laughs> that these conversations started when Megan was no, pre- no. pregnant. These conversations would have started no. from... It would have been like, so, so what if you like, have a kid? When I don't have a kid, you would have pulled him to the, would have uh, him to the side like, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> And then Harry would have been like, yeah, but I've got all my hair. Have you? <laughs> I don't forget Megan's a divorcee. Megan's what? She's, she's, been, she's been married before, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Divorcee. So there's that whole time. Oh, that's a lot. Yo, bro. <laughs> there's a lot doing? I forgot. Yeah. This is the royal family. Yeah. They bring, have their ethos. They bring, have their ways. You know what I will They're bringing a mixed race divorcee into the house. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Harry was going to be far left no matter what they, they try. I think when... When she said in the interview, something that struck me hard is when she said that um, it's not just like dating someone famous. This is royalty. So yes. Americans might perceive it as all fame. fame. Yeah. It's yeah, very yeah. different. Mm-hmm. So that hit me there where I was like, do you know what? You're right. Because to us, they are famous people. Mm-hmm. What? But yeah, to what? them, there's it's so royalty. much. You know, so this cool. is where I remember when, you know, when the whole news broke out. that Megan's... They were dating. And people are like, oh yeah, finally there's gonna be seasoning in the <laughs> royal chicken Buckingham no, Palace. Really like, guys. Where the- it's Buckingham Palace and it's the Queen. So that's like yeah. thinking that it was just because yeah. Obama was in charge that things were gonna you think be different. Yeah, yeah. It's no, like, I, but it's completely different because it doesn't work like it. that. So yeah, I personally, I don't feel like I'm not bothered. What care. what are your thoughts on it, Anton? The whole conversation between what the child's yeah. colour was going to be. The whole Megan scenario doesn't impact me whatsoever. What does impact me is the closet races that come out of the cupboard when these things happen. So for me, I'm not somebody who's triggered by worldly events. Okay. But I like to see how people, how react, people right. around me react. Mm-hmm. No, the reason why, because a lot of people will claim that they're not racist or whatever, and Until... you see them running, <laughs> running Facts. with certain views. No. You just think. And it's like, oh, okay, I know that you're over there now. And that's kind of how my whole take on it. So I'm. I'm Anton. She, she should have. I think she should have expected at this, it. At because this stage, are you really surprised by did I, did I say I'm surprised? surprised? Did I say surprised? So why are you bothered? It's not a case of it, being bothered. I'm cool. Look how cool I am. I'm it irritating. Cool. It, it, no, I'm not even irritated. I'm irritated. I, I find the whole thing almost <laughs> at this stage, you know, because if I feel so like I've repelled all the. Co- I've, I've, yeah, I've that's why you them. don't have the comments <laughs> on your <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. I, no, still no, have, I, I still have them on my Facebook and I, I like it as a as a reality check. Yeah. yeah. I, I, it's good. Um, yeah. But I, I'm not. I'm not sure. And in 2021, I'm no longer. Remember, we've had we've gone through the George Floyd thing. <laughs> remember, we've gone through so all this several times already. Time. We've kind of filled so some things out. I just no. I understand that these people exist, and it's 2021, and I hope things would be better, but <laughs> isn't they're not? And it's cool. Mm. But I like to sit back and watch and see the the reactions from certain people and the outrage, um, even when it's not logical. Oh, Megan's this and Megan's that. It's like, bro, you don't know Megan. Settle down. Mm. So it's you know. Okay then. So. Sound like you're changing the subject. I'm not changing the subject. Uh, we're okay, touching we're on to piss face. Changing. Excuse me? Mr. Piss face Morgan. Piss. <laughs> <laughs> you mean carry pum pum feet? Sorry, uh, piss. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me it's something need, to you. We need. Please it? tell me. If we're gonna do the, the one where he was rejected. This this is my point. Yeah. If we're gonna do Piers Morgan, then we have to do all of Piers Morgan. So we have Piers Morgan has been going in on GMTV. So I did. Are we cutting to have a second bit? Or are we going straight? Because this is editing for you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's take a break. Yeah.